I'm Morgan Bowling, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade potato chips. Yukon Gold potatoes deliver the best flavor, but they contain a fair bit of starch, which you'll need to control to avoid soggy, greasy chips. The first trick is getting the one pound of potatoes sliced to the perfect thickness. Using a mandolin will make easy work of this potentially tedious task. Start by having a potato with a chef's knife. Then, attach one half to the safety holder. Slice the potato with the cut side against the mandolin blade. The sweet spot for kettle chips is 1 16th inch slices. Next, line a rim baking sheet with a clean dish towel. Set a wire rack in a second rimmed baking sheet and line it with a triple layer of paper towels. Set both sheets aside for the moment. Place the sliced potatoes in a large bowl and cover them with cold water. Now, gently agitate the slices in the water. Drain the potatoes and repeat the process until the water in the bowl no longer turns cloudy, about five rinses. Bring two quarts of water to a boil in a large saucepan over high heat. Add the potatoes and return the water to a gentle boil. Cook the potatoes until they just start to soften, two to three minutes. This will help reduce the amount of starch in the potatoes. The slices should gently bend when they are ready. Drain the potatoes well, then spread them out over the kitchen towel lined baking sheet. You want the potatoes to be as dry as possible before frying, so make sure to pat them dry. Now it's time to fry. Carefully place one quarter of the potato slices in a Dutch oven with two quarts of vegetable oil at 325 degrees. Frying in very small batches ensures even cooking and prevents the oil temperature from dropping too much, avoiding soggy, greasy chips. As the potatoes fry, stir them frequently with a wire skimmer or a slotted spoon. Do this until the chips turn golden brown and stop bubbling in the oil, three to four minutes. When the oil stops bubbling, it means that all of the water has cooked out of the potatoes, the signal that they are cooked through and crisp. As soon as the chips finish frying, transfer them to the prepared wire rack using a skimmer or a slotted spoon. Some chips may cook slightly faster than others. Season with salt immediately after they come out of the oil so that the salt adheres to the chips while they are still hot. Return the oil to 325 degrees and repeat with the remaining potato slices in three more batches. You can adjust the burner if necessary to maintain the oil temperature. After tasting these homemade kettle style chips, you won't settle for greasy over salted store bought options anymore. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you thought of this how to in the comments below and hit that subscribe button.